is uh, I'm full of pieces to go. That uh, I play, I play. I'm, I'm putting 60 years on this mother heart. Especially when I look back and I recall my uh, childhood friends, my mates in schools, and could recall several ones that are not alive today. I'm related 60 years old to a lot of people did be nothing. But for me, that my father did not attain the age of 30 before he died. So me being 60 is a great achievement for me. And I pray that the Lord should continue to be with me and my family. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, sir. Sir, who is Oluoma? Yes, <laughs> Oluoma is uh, Chief Samuel Lulalabi. Uh, who was uh, born and brought up in an alien Empire state. He's a Christian, uh, married to Chief Mrs. Lulu Funke, the nice Abosse de Alabi, with three children, and a lawyer by profession and a community practitioner by vocation, a tourism practitioner by occupation. And uh, I always love to be in the midst of people that I can impact on their life. That is the brief summary of the person I think will know is. All right, thank you so much, sir. So what is your message for people that came to celebrate you today, sir? I appreciate them for taking the trouble to come, especially know what Nigeria is now. They came to identify with me. And I pray that in their life, moments of joy shall not elude them in Jesus' name. Uh, perhaps even one of them is facing a particular challenge that they cannot even tell their partner. I pray that Almighty God will use the, this occasion to meet them at the point of their respective needs in Jesus' name. And my commitment to have this, what is that one lesson that life has taught you at 60? Looking at your life, looking at how you started, where you started from, the successes and everything you are joining in the last 60 years. What is that lesson that life has taught you at 60? I've now understood that nothing changed in human life. It's only the physical perspectives, the top party view of a person that changes. A person from birth to date of death is the same because his thought, his character, his inner person is unchanged, and that whatever we have started to do at early life, if it is bad, we can start taking it to it. the person will take it to his grave, mm. and if it is good, it will be better for him. Mm. Nothing in this world, nothing we brought, nothing we are going to take. Every year, every day matters. Mm. We should operate as if there won't be tomorrow. So also, that the history we are going to write by our life shall be a pleasant one. Thank you. For someone that lost his father at early age, at least the age of 30, mm. how do you cope? How was life for you? Well, <laughs> I, I, I see it as, I view it as a mixed with mixed feelings. Mm. Sorry to say, I've seen a lot of my friends that had their mother and father. Okay, that even up to today, they have not been better than I do. God in Himself made me to meander the murky water of the of life and brought me up to teach others this that there's no one God cannot elevate with or without parents. Yes, at the initial stages could be rough, but those rough edges. A training ground for future uh, development in life. So that is how I think. At times, I even look at it that perhaps if my parents were to be alive, my father were to be alive, probably my uncle, my aunties that came my way to mold my life couldn't have had the infantry to go and hijack me from my father because that would have been an infantry. So because I had no father, the 
destiny touched me into the hand of those who moved my life for me. Thank you very much.
I've been watching for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, if your hands are not busy, help me put your hands together and celebrate God in the life of the Lord.